Now take a moment to reflect on your thoughts and feelings. Ooh, sounds different. Yeah? Mm. I did a, appeal to my readers to suggest what the name might be, and I had a list of very bizarre suggestions. I settled for the word vegan, which was immediately accepted, and over the years became part of our language. I'm going to challenge your belief systems today, so let me start with a quick disclaimer. I am not here to be your enemy. I want to ask you to use some empathy right now. Oh yes, today it's out of our place. You give me an open mind today, that's all I ask for, an open mind. Let me explain. We all say we love animals. These are innocent beings who have done nothing wrong to us. But we pay people to mutilate, torture and slaughter animals. Have some more meat. Have some more cheese. And it's not for any necessity. Have some more cheese on your meat. Meat, cheese, double cheese, extra cheese. It's not because we need to for our health. Have some more cow's milk. Have some more eggs. It's just because we like the way they taste. And how about a little more cheese with your meat? Let me explain. All right, so if you could end a Holocaust with a simple lifestyle change, would you do it? Yes. Sure. You would? Yeah. yeah. Have you heard of the animal Holocaust? No. 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 What do you think of vegans that draw comparisons to the Jewish Holocaust and what happens in the meat and dairy industry? I think it's a bit extreme because yeah. it's different. Like, they were, people in the Holocaust were killed because they couldn't choose the way they were. Fact, what is your definition of a Holocaust? And animals are raised to be like this. It's not like they've really had any other choice. Is it a massacre of human beings? or a massacre of innocent beings. Or I think you can help reduce the way the animals are treated and like the conditions you can improve. Humane? Do you really think there's such a thing as humane slaughter? Yeah, you can make okay. it humane. Exactly what is your definition of humane? Let me explain. You're never going to stop meat and all of the produce from animals. That's never going to happen. And it's horrible that that's the way it is, but that is the way it is. And it's horrible that that's the way it is, but that is the way it is. That's never going to happen. Habit, tradition, convenience, taste. Have you ever wondered why you might eat chicken's wings, but not swan's wings? Habit, tradition, convenience, taste. And it's horrible that that's the way it is, but that is the way it is. Habit, tradition, convenience, taste. I just never thought about why I ate some animals but not others. You're never going to stop meat and all of the produce from animals. That's never going to happen. Do you want to watch a one minute video? Yes. Habit, tradition, convenience, taste. That's never going to happen. Habit, tradition, convenience, taste. That's never going to happen. That is the way it is. Do you want to watch a one minute video? Yes. This is the most humane method. It's called the gas chamber. Is that what you're talking about? Oh my god. What? Oh, did you know that? No, I didn't. And have you ever wondered why you haven't wondered? You've been duped. They're killing you. They're killing the animals and they're killing this planet. So do you think animal suffering matters less than human suffering? Not at all. Would you change your food choices after I'm knowing that? I'm going home and I'm changing right now. Thank you. I know it's not easy to see that. I'm a vegan, which means I don't participate in any animal exploitation, yep. cruelty, I uh, don't consume any animal products and I wanted to show people through my journey just how easy that is to do, yeah, right. how healthy mm. it is, how yeah, you can have an amazing life, it's, it's so easy. The truth is, this is a chance for a personal revolution to leave your mark on this planet by causing the least amount of harm possible. Let's just have a look at what we have collectively created, including the good people who haven't done enough. They haven't said no. They haven't led the way. Going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. Let me explain. When you're in the supermarket, you don't want to think about where those products have come from. You don't want to think about though, how those animals have been reared, how they've been treated. The power of willful ignorance cannot be overstated. Without awareness, there is no free choice. This is systemized cruelty on a massive scale, and we only get away with it because everyone is prepared to look the other way. Today, millions of animals will die in the name of human greed. Every single one fights for their life. Every single one doesn't want to die. Whether it be for food, fun, sport, tradition, entertainment, culture, cosmetics, research, medicine, buildings or business, none of these is a valid excuse for animal abuse. 
all are simply evil. When you buy products that are tested on animals, when you wear fur, when you go to an animal circus or zoo, you're supporting the torture of innocent beings and breaching their right to freedom. It is time to do what is necessary and not what is convenient. We have an obligation to fight on behalf of those who cannot fight for themselves. It is time for us to stand up, speak up, and say no longer will we tolerate these industries that exploit and murder animals. No longer will we remain silent whilst those we care about are suffering. No longer will we allow these industries to continue. No longer will we allow these acts of evil to be carried out. We are the vegan revolution. Illuminating the dark truths the system works so hard to hide from us. And it's horrible that that's the way it is, but that is the way it is. Now correct me if I'm wrong, animals do not belong to us. They are not commodities. They're not property and they're not inanimate, stupid objects who can't think and feel. People eat meat, cheese, milk and eggs for four reasons. Habit, tradition, convenience, taste. Let me explain. To think we have such a thing called a slaughterhouse? Where people are employed to grab an animal, use electric prods to force it to go where they want, to jam bolts in their heads, to slice their throats up, hang them from chains and watch them die as blood drips out of their throat and their legs kick desperately. To think that even exists in the numbers that it does. We're not talking about there's a few bad people around that do that. We're talking about this is the norm. If we can't stop and look at that and say, holy crap, what have we done? I'm convinced that would do it if we just look. Forget theories, forget philosophies, forget possibilities, forget psychology, forget everything. Just honestly look at what we have done. Because I think deep down everyone cares, because you can see they care for s certain things. So the caring is there, they, they would like to care. They would like to be loved, they would like to give love. Every living being, you can see that. Every animal, you give it a chance to be loved, it just laps it up. It loves it and it loves the whole process, everything does. But we'll never ever feel that or share that if we're not prepared to look at the insane cruelty that we've created on this planet. Now take a moment to reflect on your thoughts and feelings.